So the best way to say it is, right, you know, rather than saying you're not meeting my expectations or here are my expectations of you, which again sounds quite condescending, is to come back to it and say, let's make it, and I like to do this with my teenagers, let's make an agreement about being on time, right? What does it mean to be on time to you? 10 of them would say, yeah, it means I need to be here on nine. A few of them would say, well, it's fine for me to be up, to be on, to, on time means any time before 10 past nine. I'm like, well, great. That's different from my meaning of what on time means. Let's meet something in the middle. Let's say to everybody, 10 past nine, you have to be here anytime between nine and 10 past nine, you're here. I had nobody being late in my class. All the other teachers looked at me like, how have you done this magic? And really all it is, is co-authoring agreements with people because anytime you have expectations, that's condescending. And as a CEO with the C-suite, that's the last thing you want to be because all that will create is friction, friction, this, you know, emotional reactions in other people, even if it's not obvious, by creating that agreement, you're meeting as co, you're meeting at the same level as co-authors of an agreement. And then do you know what happens when you have an agreement as well, if it's been co-authored by the other person, they stick to it because they've got part of that. They've got something in there that they've agreed to. And as humans are, again, we're hardwired. It's a survival instinct for us is we don't break agreements, right? We really don't. It's really hugely a natural behavior for people to break an, break an agreement because that's just the way we are hardwired. If we used to do that in the old, you know, in the, in the previous days, you'd be exercised from the tribe. It's a really serious thing. So anytime anybody makes an agreement with you, they're going to stick to it. Anytime you ask them to meet my expectations, they're going to rebel and they're not going to stick to it.